we're in the slow part of the betting season right now. All we have is baseball. Uh, Wimbledon's going on right now. A little bit of WNBA or NBA Summer League, but it's it's pretty slow compared to a couple months from now when it's going to be just firing it on, on all cylinders. So I'm going to show you um, on the low holds page and the arbitrage page how to find sharp positive EV plays when maybe the positive EV tool isn't popping. Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Billy C. Hope you're having an awesome week, almost to the weekend. Can't wait. As always, we got to get the couple things out of the way before we jump into the good stuff, right? If you guys like this type of content, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss the video that I drop on my channel. I'm always talking about gambling, the tools at OzJam, how we can educate you on being a better sports better, how we can make you some money, right? Um, in the description, going to be a one-week free trial to Odds Jam. Highly recommend you give it a try. And if you like Odds Jam, you want to sign up, maybe you're thinking about it, well, use my promo code, Billy20. It'll save you 20% off uh, every month that you pay. No matter what plan you use, do not pay full price, guys. It's not worth it. So use my promo code. Helps me out a lot. Tells Odds Jam that you're watching my content. I sent you there, and I can't thank you enough. So let's get into this right now. I'm going to show you all kinds of value that we can find on the low holds page and the arbitrage page. So first thing right off the hop, Odds Jam went to dark mode. I love it. They got a new logo here, the little O and then the J. Ah, next level stuff there. So we go to the low holds page, right? Sportsbook low holds page. Now, typically the low holds page is meant for VIP perks status, right? Maybe you don't want to actually gamble any of your money. So we want to find 0% plays like this play right here, this tennis match, FanDuel and Hard Rock. You click on the calculator to tell you to bet two different amounts where you'd win the same amount of money no matter what happens. So this is a great tool to use to kind of churn through those VIP bonuses like WinBet, Caesars, DraftKings, what they offer. But we're going to use this to find really sharp play. Now, looking at this example right here, Right, you can just see Pinnacle doesn't have their odds out for this match, and sometimes Pinnacle doesn't set odds for certain types of markets. So, if you like to bet maybe certain types of markets, you know, maybe first set total games, which I know Pinnacle does have odds for, they just haven't set them yet. You can use other sports books to find maybe you can find some value, right? Like a great case would be ah, if you wanted to bet the under 12 and a half games, you definitely want to bet it with Hard Rock because if all you had was a FanDuel account, you're getting this at minus 358. You can get this in minus 260 at Hard Rock, which, you know, to make 100 bucks means all you have to do is put up 260 bucks on Hard Rock to make 100 bucks. But FanDuel, you'd have to put up $358. And that's a, that's a really big difference. But how we use this page is right up here. OK, now, typically, you know, if you have if you want to go for the VIP perks, you could type in your seizures, your DraftKings. It'll show you all the plays for this sports book. But we're going to go with Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world. And we're just going to type in good old. Penny. I know you could see Pinnacle here, but I go with Penny. So a play that I'm already on here, this is a play that I found on Flip for tomorrow's Wimbledon match, right? So why th isn't this play on the positive EV tool, you ask? Well, sometimes they are, okay? And in this case, this play would be on the positive EV tool. Sometimes why you won't see these plays on the positive EV tool is because there is a certain criteria that needs to be met in order for these plays to make it on the tool. Sometimes when you find plays on the low holds page, maybe only three sports books have set their odds. So that's not enough books to meet the criteria to make it on the plus EV page, but you can find it here on the low holds page. So the, the example that I'm going to show you of how we can see or figure out if there is positive expected value on these plays, it's going to be the exact same for the arbitrage page as it is the low holds page. It's the same rinse and repeat method. So guys, to explain this to you, we're on the positive EV page. What we need to figure out on the low holds page and the arbitrage page is the true fair odds, right? When we're on the plus EV page, you can see the no big fair odds is right here, okay? But when we're on the low holds page or the arbitrage page, this isn't here. We have to calculate this for ourselves, right? Because we want to be getting odds that are better than the no big fair odds. So we have to figure out what the no big fair odds are on the arbitrage and low holds page in order to figure out, is this a good bet? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to grab Pinnacle's odds. Now, what I love to use the low holds page for is for mainline plays. Now, you see there's like some NFL plays out there, which are ridiculous. I'm not betting on those right now. But like you see this Mets Padres over under game. Um, there's a tennis match here for a set handicap. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of tennis games. And then, you know, like a first half money line play with this Yankees Cubs. 
So when we click into this, you know, the odds may have changed, but just for the sake of the example, you know, Pinnacle set their line at minus 191. So there's only a handful of books that post this. So all you want to do is grab Pinnacle's odds. So we go to the no big fair odds. We type in minus 129 plus 110. Guys, for the for the underdog plays, you don't have to put a plus in front of the odds sign here. You just have to type 110, right? Obviously, you have to put the minus sign for the favorite up here, but no plus sign needed. So what this does, it, all sports books have VIG or juice attached to their odds. That's how they make their money off of each individual wager, right? So a true 50-50 bet would be plus 100, plus 100, but that's not how it works. You know, it's going to be minus 110, minus 110. And that little extra minus 10 is the VIG or the juice that the sports books make, right? Because they don't charge you a subscription fee to use their sports book. So that's how they make their money. So in order to find the fair odds, we have to remove that. And that's what this calculator does. So in this case, because we're looking to bet, we see value on the minus 129, we know that the no VIG fair odds is 54.19%. And the actual fair odds should be minus 118. So when you're on the low holds page, we want to make sure for this favorite that we're getting odds better than minus 118. That means minus 115, minus 110, minus 105, plus 105, plus 115. You get the idea. That's what we need, right? If the no big fair odds was minus 118 and we could get this play at minus 120, that, that's not a positive expected value bet. There is no edge. You do not want to make that wager. So because we know that the no big fair odds is minus 118, Fliff is giving this to us at minus 110. So there's positive expected value, right? Now, if you want to take it a step further and figure out how much expected value there is, then we want to go to an expected value calculator. And so for the sake of this example, what you want to do is put the amount that you want to wager, which we'll just say it's a hundred bucks, just for a simple example, the odds that we're getting from Fliff minus 110, and then what the fair, true, no VIG fair odds win probability is, which is 54.19. And if this expected value right here, if it shows positive, then we want it, right? Now, let's say we weren't getting this in minus 110, like I said, minus 120. Ah, then we have negative expected value and you don't want to make that bet. And you'd be like, well, Billy, it's only negative 65 cents. It's still not a good bet. You don't want to make that. That's not what we're trying to do over the course of the long run. Sure. Every now and then, if you wanted to throw this in, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could get away with it, right? A blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while, but this isn't the formula you want to replicate going on and moving forward. Right, so here's a great example of why the low holds page is kick ass. I mean, Pinnacle sees this first half money line twins minus 177. We can get this at minus 155 over at DraftKings, right? Right, so I throw in Pinnacle's odds here. All we have to do is get odds that are better than minus 162, and we know we're getting that at DraftKings. We're getting it at minus 155 right here. So, guys, why I love the no, uh, the low, vi the low holds page, excuse me is because it doesn't really show a ton of player prop bets. And if you've seen my videos in the past, you know I'm kind of meh on player prop bets. So I love this because Pinnacle's super sharp when it comes to the mainline plays, first half plays, and baseball. That's why I love this. So that's how we use the low holds page. We're going to go over the arbitrage page where that's going to be a little bit more player prop uh, focused. Now, the example here on the arbitrage page, like we have this Cubs-Yankees first half total runs. Right now we have Pinnacle's odds right here. This is those sometimes where you have to figure out does is there EV on the over or is there EV on the under? So we'll do both examples here, the over and the under, to see which one has EV. Sometimes there's EV for both sides. And real quick timeout again, like can you see the power of having multiple sports books? If you wanted to bet over four and a half and all you have is a hard rock account, holy smokes. I mean, minus 155, but Barstool will give it to us at minus 110. So like – that's a huge difference. Okay, so pumping in Pinnacle's odds here, minus 121, 106. You know, if we want to bet the over, we have to get odds that are better than minus 112, meaning, you know, minus 110, minus 105. And if we wanted to bet the under, we'd have to be getting odds that are better than plus 112. So we'd have to get plus 115, plus 120, plus 125. So this is one of those rare examples where there's EV on both, right? We're getting this over four and a half at Barstool at minus 110 which all we have to do is beat minus 112 and hard rocks giving us the under a plus 115, which is better than plus 112. So both sides have an edge here. And it's a great example. Sometimes this happens. So 
I mean, if you were to ask me who would I, what would I bet? I probably wouldn't bet either. Cause I absolutely hate it when there's EV on both sides. Cause that's like, you know, we can figure out which one maybe has more of an EV edge, but I, I can't stand these plays. The reason right now that there aren't any player prop bets on the arbitrage page is because it's almost 10 30 here in Arizona. So, you know, all the games are done. So if we would hop on this tomorrow morning, you're going to see a lot of player prop bets and you're going to see a lot of opportunities. And, and while I'm, I might be a little against player prop bets, there are some massive discrepancies between sports books sometimes on the arbitrage page and you can find awesome value. And so what I mean by that is, you know, we're looking at the Cubs Yankees game again, but this time it's the over under five and a half uh, for a player prop example. Here's what I mean. Like, like all these sports books here, let's just pretend like this was a, stri- a player pitcher strikeout prop right here. And these were the odds, you know, hard rocks giving us the under minus minus one thirty five, and everybody else sees it. Like, even if you don't think pinnacle is that sharp, Fandle's a very sharp book when it comes to player prop bets, they have this in minus one eighty two. So this would be an example where if this was a player prop bet, I would seriously look into this on hard rock because you know, there's, there's just such a massive, it's not a small gap. It's a big gap. So this is how you want to use the low holds page and the arbitrage page. Now, guys, the last thing I'll tell you for any of my Kelly criterion betters out there, you know, I might have dogged it and didn't really enjoy it much, but this is how you would do it as well is, you know, whatever your multiplier is, say it's 0.25. And then let's say, you know, you want to put in the odds that we're getting the bet at, right? So let's say we're just getting it at 105. And let's say the win percentage is 53%. Okay, I'm just making this all up on the spot. It shows you then how much expected value there is, and it shows you how much of your bankroll you should wager, right? So ideally, if you had a $100 bankroll, then you should be wagering $2.06 on this play. So if you use the Kelly criterion, you know, this is how when you use the low holds page and the arbitrage page, all you need to know is figure out the odds that you're getting and then the true no big fair odds win percentage. Plug that in here and it will tell you exactly the percentage of your bankroll that you should be wagering on this particular play. That's the video, guys. So I'm not kidding you. When it comes to the low holds page and arbitrage page, if you start to uh, check out some other odd GM users, they're going to tell you that there's a lot of value out there. And there really is. I've been doing this now for the last handful of weeks. I've found some very sharp bets because I've found some really massive discrepancies. So, you know, if you have, you know, for me, I bet now some EV plays that have under 1% edge. But if you're on the EV tool and you're hunting for value that's over 1.5% or higher, feel free to hop over these other two tools because they're going to provide a lot for you when we're kind of in the dry season of gambling, the dry spells, right? So, guys, again, if you have any questions, reach out to me on Twitter. I'm going to be more than happy to help you out. I'm going to hop on a Zoom call with you if you want me to talk strategy, talk shop. Hey, Billy, I only have a couple, you know, this is how much money I have. You know, what books should I get? How much should I be wagering? I'll help you out. This is what I'm here to do. All I ask in return is maybe you smash that thumbs up button. If you like this type of content, subscribe to it so you don't miss the videos that I drop. And use my promo code, Billy20, right? Whenever you sign up for the plans or if you want to sign up for that free trial, let Odds Jam know that I sent you. I can't thank you enough, guys, right? I really appreciate you, and we'll catch you in the next video.